Hey everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to bypass the unable to activate screen on your iPhone. Uh, as you can see, when I click the I, all that shows up is the serial number, no IMEI or any other information. Now this issue was known with the iPhone 7. Apple had a replacement program for the uh, no service issue on the iPhone 7. But if you did not qualify or have not bothered, um, and would like to get some more usability out of your device, then follow along and I'll explain how to do this. Now, I have the iPhone SE. Uh, this method works with any iPhone. Um, with this uh, unable to activate error, it may also work with similar errors, similar activation errors also. And this, this uh, method works to bypass the iCloud lock activation screen also so to get started you are going to want to download two applications and this only works on uh, Mac currently so you're going to want to I'll link them in the description one will be the check rain jailbreak tool and the other will be the checkmate.info iCloud bypass tool this method was de is designed for uh, by bypassing that the iCloud lock, but the, it also works to bypass the uh, unable to activate screen. Now this only works with iOS 12.3 to 13.2.3. Uh, if you don't know what iOS version you are running, you can go into uh, one of these tools, and it will show what iOS version you have. So I have the iPhone SE, and it is on iOS 12.4.1. So that's in that's within the uh, compatible range, 12.3 to 13.2.3. So once you've verified your iOS version, first thing we're going to want to do is jailbreak. And this that's what the uh, check rain tool here does. This jailbreaks your device first. And then once it's done with that, you go into the, the uh, bypass tool and it'll bypass your um, activation screen. So... First thing we'll want to do is jailbreak. So I have the iPhone SE, iOS 12.4.1. It's connected in normal mode. Start. Device needs to be put into DFU mode to apply the jailbreak. Next. Entering recovery mode. And iTunes will pop up. Get out of that. So now we go into DFU mode, hold the top and home buttons together, and release the top button, keep holding the home button. Then we're booting, it's running through the jailbreak. All right, now it went through that, so now we can exit out of this and go into the, the bypass tool. Then hit start bypass. And there we go. The device has bypassed the activation screen. Now, if you want to install um, Cydia, where'd it go? It was there. Um, there was a Check Rain app there, but it disappeared. Now, as you just saw there, I had the Check Rain app. For a second and then it disappeared. If you would like to 
install Cydia and get more usability out of your device, you can go through this process again or until um, the Check Rain app does not disappear and then you'll have the option to install Cydia once you go into the Check Rain app. Now the, it is only a tethered jailbreak so every time you turn your device off and back on um, you will not be able to go into Cydia, it will crash. So you need to go through this process again every time you uh, turn your device completely off. And as you can see, it still shows no service in the status bar. There's a triangle with an exclamation point. So if you insert a SIM card, nothing will happen. Uh, you cannot use cellular data. It even shows an error in the settings there. An update is required to use cellular data on this iPhone. You can use Wi-Fi though, but certain services like iMessage and FaceTime will not work and you won't be able to sign in to uh, iCloud. Um, I believe you can sign into the App Store, but you can only download apps in which you have previously downloaded on the account that you signed in with. So if you sign in with a whole new account that you haven't downloaded any apps on before, then you won't be able to download apps because you haven't previously downloaded any apps before. So anyways, I hope this uh, method works for you guys and gets at least some more usability out of your device. So if this works for you, then please like the video, leave a comment, and thanks for watching.